Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lands Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got a very simple to- oh my god, what have I done? I bought sheet engine somehow. I'm doing that weird, like, undefined thing every single floor. One second, I will try to fix that. But we're doing a very simple, easy to describe run today that should also make us pretty powerful. Uh, at least I hope. So this is a run courtesy of YouTube user Dodo or Dado Poland. Let me just check sheet engine here for a second. Yes, I think this should be our problem. And solved, thankfully, otherwise we would have had to restart the video. Uh, but this is just called Shotgun, and it's very simplistic. You can probably guess what's going on. We have number one, which gives us an uh, awesome rate of fire, but pretty terrible range. Uh, we have Mutant Spider, which gives us, uh, like, the quad shot here, which gives us kind of like the scatter effect of the shotgun. And we have Max's Head, which gives us kind of extra damage, I guess, to indicate the stopping power of, uh, you know, this vessel or this weapon that we have at our disposal here. Our only goal, well our restrictions I guess we'll talk about first, our only goal is obviously to be Blue Baby, but our restrictions, we can't go to the first three item rooms, which I think is perfectly balanced, uh, because, you know, to be quite frank, we are starting with three items that are probably better than you'd get in your average item room, so this should be an easier run, let's see what this pill does. Well, uh, that makes it even easier, and our shop, sadly, uh, I would love to pick up the Nun's Habit, but unless we manage to get another bomb, which could happen uh, by way of this boss room here, uh, it's otherwise going to be inaccessible unless we manage to get to the secret room. But anyway, let's let's give this a try here. I would obviously love to get Nun's Habit because this is one of the few challenge runs where the spacebar item actually does not factor in. That's that's pretty rare uh, for a challenge run because normally you know the spacebar item is part of the crux of the uh, the whole concept, but on this one it is not. So we could get rid of D6 at any point basically. I'm not sure if there's a shotgun item that kind of feel or a, a spacebar item that kind of feels like it could be shotgun related. And to be honest with you, we got a range upgrade here and I took it. Uh, because I feel like range upgrades are going to be exceptionally valuable for us here. In fact, I think if you notice like what happened there, I almost feel like that range upgrade almost carries more than one range upgrade when you have a uh, number one. It almost feels like it's taking me almost back to normal levels uh, of, of distance for my shots, which is fantastic. Uh, and now we'll probably try to look for HP upgrades and the uh, the like. But for now, uh, that that range upgrade was actually probably pretty damn beneficial. We will probably try to go to the shop on this floor that hinges largely on my ability to get money. We might as well fight the boss right now because we're already here. And I am very glad that that is not uh, famine because we might uh, have ended up saddled with a first or second level cube of meat for the rest of the game. And as you can see, we're doing very good damage here. Cat of Nine Tails is a pretty obvious reroll, I think. Getting Squeezy is better. Uh, we can get a tiers upgrade which allows us to fire faster. Quad Shot does have uh, some negatives with respect to its rate of fire. Uh, but number one compensates for that largely, but, uh, you know, any rate of fire increase that we can get is very beneficial. I've started, that's, that's been another mature evolution in my Isaac play, is uh, the realization that tiers upgrades and damage upgrades are not, you know, w one is not necessarily always better than the other, although I still prefer damage upgrades. Uh, it was really bad of me. Uh, but, sometimes just being able to increase your rate of fire is exceptionally valuable as well. And you know what, we pick up a lump of coal, that's going to make our shotgun shots black, which just seems a little bit more... Uh, reasonable. I'm not trying to make this a race thing, but you know, they are produced out of metal as far as I know. I know nothing about ballistics or firearms, so I'm just, you know, going with my gut on this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that should make this, this a little bit more conceptually realistic anyway. Uh, and I like our chances, especially now with uh, Lump of Coal allowing us to do probably a, a good deal more damage, uh, provided we can get maybe a little bit of increased range, although that's not even that necessary at this point. I almost feel like our range is probably good enough at this point to carry me through the rest of the game. Now, we are going to go to the arcade, and I'm going to get a little risky here. Uh, the, the positives here should outweigh the negatives for playing this uh, Blood Bank. Because what I'm thinking, of course, is that uh, at the very least we'll be able to get to 15 cents, and with 15 cents we will be able to go to the shop and possibly buy whatever item is in there, which is the blue candle, which I'm going to pick up. <laughs> so that is going to be the end of our... Um, I guess that's the perfect shotgun item as well, right? Because it, it takes a while to reload, uh, it hits enemies in a straight line in front of you, and it does a ton of damage. So this should be pretty interesting here. At the very least... Uh, oh man, that was not great, but hey, the small rock, that's awesome. Uh, at the very least, we do have the infrastructure now to, to definitely carry us through the rest of the game. Uh, you know, it's only the second floor. What do we need to help us out a little bit more beyond this? Health. Health is going to be uh, probably the, the dominant theme for the back half or even middle half of this run uh, at this point. So we'll just, we'll just kind of wait this out and see what happens. I definitely want to get back to full health because I am in kind of a risky position here. Uh, deliberately so, but risky nonetheless. So you come down here and then I hit you with that and we're good to go. And I think that marks the end of this floor. Now remember, next floor is the last one where I don't have permission to go to the item room. So once that's over with, uh, we should be good to start stacking up even more items per floor. But man, we've gotten a, this was a pretty big floor for us. We got Blue Candle, 
Uh, Squeezy, which has allowed us to survive, basically, and, and play that Blood Bank. Um, Lump of Coal. The tiers upgrade from Squeezy, which I probably should have mentioned in that area, I guess. And Small Rock, so we're a little bit slower now, uh, but we also do way more damage. We, we pack quite a punch. Uh, and we have one of the best spacebar items in the game from a raw damage standpoint. In fact, maybe the best spacebar item in the game from a raw damage standpoint. Now, of course, the, the downside for this is that uh, you will have to hear my spacebar on my keyboard occasionally. But I should point out, by the way, people are saying, you know, my keyboard noise is more annoying on this desk. Never fear, uh, I did buy a standalone uh, mic arm, like a stand basically, as well as a shock mount. So that should... Oh, telepills I wasn't necessarily into, but hey, Mr. Mega could actually be beneficial here. But, uh, yeah, keyboard noise should not be a m major problem much longer, shall we say. Every time I say shock mount, I feel like I'm a 10-year-old kid that just bought, like, a new awesome bicycle. It's got shock mounts, and you can put a bicycle in this, or you can put a card in the spokes. Of course, I call it a bicycle. Uh, another tears upgrade. So far, so good on these pills. Who dares win sometimes when it comes to pharmaceuticals? That's what your parents won't tell you, kids. Some of the pills are good. Now, I'm still kind of desperately hoping to get some uh, HP upgrades at some point because, as you can see, my health is uh, not necessarily bad, but sometimes it feels like it could be a problem. We do have enough health necessary to go to the mob trap room down here, which contains a compass. Again, if I lose this run, and that's still totally within the realm of possibility, uh, the, I can't blame the troll engine this time it, or the, uh, the challenge run because both are doing their damnedest to make sure that I can uh, survive and thrive in this hostile environment. So, the, just getting the compass randomly in a mob trap room is so fucking unprecedented, well not unprecedented, but unlikely uh, that, you know, I just have to feel right now somebody up there likes me, especially when you pick up the cancer trinket right at the very end as well, thereby allowing you to kind of spam your shots. Now what we need to do is go to the uh, shop and pick up mom's purse so we can take the Polaroid with us as well. And I will truly believe that there is a benevolent force in the universe. I'm gonna guest star with Laura Dern on Enlightened next season, it's gonna be good. I'm not actually going to, I would love to, but I'm a terrible actor, as you know, if you saw the, uh, my portrayal as Luke Skywalker in, uh, the Mike Bithel Presents Star Wars A New Hope. It's funny that, like, the number of people that were like, man, Northern Lion's really bad as Luke Skywalker. Then there were another pe a number of people that were like, man, is it just me or is Ryan doing a great job here? And then I was like, you know, I get that positive feeling that swells in my heart, and then they say, like, because Luke Skywalker was also a really bad actor, or Mark Hamill was also really bad when he played Luke Skywalker, and then it's just like... Come on, man. That hurts. It hurts dad when you say that. Uh, we have the Steam sale in here, which is tempting. Instead, I'm going to spend five cents to buy a key, uh, because I don't really feel like the Steam sale, we're at the point, probably like right on the borderline, of where I would consider the Steam sale to be uh, worth buying. At some point, it's just like economically not a great decision. Uh, but... I don't know if we're at that point yet. We might be there, we might be close. Uh, I have not fought the boss on this floor yet. And uh, the unspoken uh, or the elephant in the room right now is what's up with deals with the devil. I think it should be obvious that, like, my tears cannot fundamentally be changed. Eh, we only got three cents. I think it's safe to just leave now. Uh, my fundamental tears can't be changed, like this quad shot uh, can't be changed. If I picked up Mom's Knife or Brimstone or something like that, I think it would make the challenge run look real silly. Uh, but, uh, apart from that, other deals with the devil, I think, should be okay. Just as long as I don't change, uh, you know, what makes this a shotgun run, which I, I guess I kind of already have by getting range upgrades, but again, that was not stipulated, and I think for obvious reasons. Getting those range upgrades actually improves my chances a lot without being very scammy. In any case, there is another HP upgrade for us, or the first HP upgrade, and the miter! Again, every single floor provides bounties greater than the last, and starting now, I can actually access the item rooms, uh, so we can try to make... Oh, I meant to use candle there. Uh, we can try to make this happen here. I think it might be possible. It still hinges on a couple of things. Uh, the miter means it's not 100% necessary for us to Guppy's Paw or um, get the nail. But it still would be beneficial. And the nail is kind of a tougher sell because I really love having blue candle. But we have enough damage, I think, just like base damage, that uh, I could get rid of the candle and still uh, feel okay about our chances moving forwards. In any case... Yum heart, not that exciting. How many times have I said in any case so far in this video? I can feel it like pulsing through my bones, the power of in any case. Um, doesn't that, it sounds like it could be like a, a South or Central American god from like a thousand years ago. God in any case? I don't know. I'm trying here. Hopefully that wasn't culturally insensitive. I was, that's one culture that I don't understand if it's okay to, not insult, because I did, you know, that's opening up a whole can of worms, but, but poke fun at. There's certain cultures you can and can't poke fun at, you know, I think we all know what those are for the most part. 
but I don't know if the like Central American, you know, Aztec people technically still exist, and that's not their fault. That's me being ignorant and you know being like so North American centric. But yeah, I don't know if I can like make a crack a joke about Montezuma or something like that, and people are gonna be like. How dare you? I think Montezuma was not actually a god, but a leader. Again, my, my Central American history uh, and South American history is basically nil, so I apologize for that if you are from there. It's something I, I definitely need to rectify. I need to play as Brazil in Victoria 2 or something like that. So we're going to be fighting Lust here. Uh, I am slow, but this is worth it for Poison Touch, even if I take a little damage. And we did get Poison Touch out of it. Uh, what was the item? It was Notched Axe in the shop there, so I don't want to use that. Uh, I guess we'll just go fight our boss then. It hasn't been an enormously great floor, uh, but it hasn't been a bad floor either, and we still have, the, you know, the best is yet to come, essentially. Telepills. We'll use that after we kill the boss, just in case we manage to get an eye on error room. Uh, the fact that we're fighting Gertie is good. Gertie is good! That was, see, again, I, I wouldn't be the best Michael Douglas either. Man, I'm doing crazy damage just with my shots. That is awesome. The one thing I will say is uh, I would love to get a tier effect. Another angel room? Oh my god, if this is like Sacred Heart, this would be incredible. It is Guardian Angel, that's still okay. Um, I would really love to pick up a tier effect like um, Mom's Contacts. So I'd, I'd pop Telepills there just on the off chance that it was going to end up helping me out a great deal. It didn't really, uh, but it was, it was worth a try regardless. At least people get off my back for not just uh, abandoning it. And this is one of the few runs recently where we haven't had a great tarot card that I've been carrying for like the entirety of the game. But everything else has very much stacked up in my favor, I would say. Uh, we, we need more health. And there's still a, a fairly okay chance that I could die if I managed to play exceptionally poorly. Don't get me wrong. It wouldn't be unprecedented levels of me playing poorly either. I'm not at an epic fetus like 20 health level right now. Uh, I'm at a, an ex exceptionally good damage and the kind of intangibles level. Uh, but things can still go very wrong. Game Kid is a good item that I don't want to take, unfortunately. Now we are on Necropolis, uh, we have to fight Greed at some point, there's no getting around that. It's probably going to be on this floor, my only hope is that he drops a key to compensate for the key that we're going to use uh, getting in there. Uh, and if he does, you know, I won't even be that mad about it, to be quite honest with you. Because a little bit of extra money might allow us to buy two things from the shop in the future. Obviously, I used to be under this impression that you could get two spacebar items from a shop, but I believe that has been taken... Uh, I could use a hangman to get a key there. Uh, but I believe that's been taken out of the game uh, in a somewhat recent, but also probably like six months ago style update. Um, so we could always buy like spirit hearts or again, extra keys or anything like that. Probably don't need to buy bombs at this point. Man, I'm firing so quickly and I really, really want to get mom's purse on the next floor. That is going to keep us from uh, having a, a very rude awakening, shall I say, when I pick up the Polaroid and end up getting rid of the cancer trinket here. You know what? Sure, it's probably not worth the key in the long run. Uh, but I'm gonna use a key regard, or I'm gonna use the hangman card regardless uh, to try to get that key that we got back there. No, no try, do or do not. There is no try. Uh, as you can see, I picked that up very easily. And what is our tarot card here? Justice. Uh, we'll just plop that down so we can pick up a little bit of extra stuff. You might be saying, Ryan, why don't you just bum rush the boss room here? Well, one reason is the uh, mob trap room is up here, and I wanted to see if maybe there was an item in there. There's not. And the other reason was. Turns out I was right, and uh, this is actually the way to the boss room. I really thought it would be the other way at first, but then uh, after I made the decision to come this way, I decided, uh, or I realized that it could work out this way. Devil card, pretty useful. We're fighting bloats, uh, which I'm never a big fan of, uh, as you might expect. It's a regular version of bloat, uh, which is... I'm not sure if I could describe that as positive or negative. It's positive because it's not the champion version. I can't believe I got hit there. I can totally believe I got hit there, but it, I, I need to express some incredulity anyway. Uh, otherwise, it'll seem like I did it on purpose, maybe. Okay, watch out for the eyes. We're actually winning this fight fairly easily. I did not expect him to uh, come down that way. And we're going to get an HP upgrade. We're also going to get uh, a bomb and a spirit heart, so that compensates us a little bit. But mostly that tears and HP upgrade is huge. So down to the next floor. This is going to be our last floor that is rich with items. And we've kind of slowed down a little bit, but not a ton with respect to how well we're doing here. I really need to just stack up some spirit hearts by way of the miter. That's why getting the miter is always so much more beneficial the sooner you get it. Uh, but I really can't complain about being able to one-shot uh, these guys here. That isn't necessarily that important, but it is indicative of the damage that we're doing. So let's check down here on the bottom left. Uh, scapular, not my favorite item in the game, but at the very least that means if we get another uh, deal with the angel, scapular won't show up. And it can occasionally save us. Uh, especially because it gives you like... The, way, the, way, the reason Scapular is popular, it's going to be difficult for me to articulate this uh, in the moment, but essentially, 
uh, Scapular gives you half of a spear, or if when you have half of a red heart, Scapular gives you a spirit heart, I believe that's how it works. Uh, I'm really slow here for some reason, I just want this guy to die. Um, but yes, so you have half a red heart and then you get a spirit heart, so what happens is like, maybe you go from like one and a half red hearts to half a red heart, you get permanent invincibility from the Polaroid as Scapular goes off, and then you also get another opportunity to have permanent invincibility from the Polaroid when that spirit heart that you gain from Scapular goes off. So it is beneficial. Uh, it, it might only be beneficial once is the thing, uh, but it, it can be a life-saving item. It's kind of like, you know, if, if you're a mother and your baby gets like trapped under a car or something like that, you get that brief burst of adrenaline to try to sort things out. Probably doesn't make it easy, but it is, you know, it's nice to have. Uh, is it nicer than a, a carjack or, you know, able-bodied fireman? Maybe not, but anyway. We got three telepills and a... Well, uh, this yellow one is good, right? Oh, we don't know. It is not bad. That's the best I can do about that. Um, I actually don't want to use telepills here for, for reasons that should be pretty obvious. Uh, I, if I end up getting the I Am Error Room, I end up losing the Polaroid and thus my claim uh, on being able to beat the game, which is not something that I'm psyched about doing. Uh, yep, yeah, that was. I knew I was going to take damage there. Didn't know I was going to take damage twice. That's just poor play on my part. But I do want to go to the Mob Trap Room. Sorry, the Boss Trap Room. And we should be able to make it happen. Uh, especially with that extra spirit heart that benefits us more than, the, you know, the game can probably possibly... No! Okay. Should have known that that was going to happen. Uh, but we're, we're done with this room, which is good. Uh, we, we, yeah, th there's enough health that I feel strong in our ability to do this. The money isn't worthless. It's not about the money. It's more about, uh, you know, the HP upgrade would be awesome. Oh, man, that dime is actually not really that useful, but I appreciate... Hey, there we go. All right. So, we're not going to be able to go to the boss trap room unless we can bomb our way in. Uh, but at the same time, I'm psyched that we have the, uh, we got the HP upgrade, which includes the speed upgrade, which is actually pretty important if we end up fighting those double lust rooms. Uh, plus, sadly, of course, that, that room's not going to be valuable for us, or available for us. Um, yeah, now we have enough money to come back here and, and take all these. Now, you might be saying, Ryan, why don't you take those telepills and, and use them later, like use them on the womb or, or utero or on the cathedral even. Well, the reason is, oh my god, get out of this kill box. You're in the kill box, Tony! Uh, I haven't seen Iron Man 3 yet, so that quote has not become antiquated yet. Um, but uh, the reason is, I think the devil card is still more valuable when it comes to beating Isaac, and I want to carry that with us. Uh, there is a tinted rock here, which I'm psyched about. May actually just not use blue candle, except for, I, I would have used it on his fight for crowd control. But that's obviously not necessary, because Red Mom doesn't summon any enemies, so instead we'll just kill her very easily. We'll take the crate, which is uh, solid, at least. Uh, it gives us another trinket, and a dime, which we can't use. The Justice card, which gives us kind of like another crate in and of itself there. Uh, we still want to take the Devil card. We, do we know what this pill does? I'm so scared. Puberty. Okay, so it didn't really do anything bad. Uh, there is our Polaroid. And here is... Uh, I hate to get rid of the Cancer trinket, but it had to be done. And we traded a bomb for a key. So now it is time for us to go down to the next floor, and recall, uh, we do have compass, and this is probably worth it. We do have compass, so uh, I, I should be able to get to the boss rooms fairly quickly. It uh, doesn't always work out like that, but ideally that's the way it's going to go. And you know, this one seems like it's going to be pretty darn easy, since we only have one more room left before our boss. Let's make sure we do this right. The fire rises, and I'm going to take a second to cough here, because I have a tickle in the back of my throat. <coughs> It's the, the illness itself isn't what gets you, man. It's the aftershocks. Now, sadly, in fighting uh, death here, uh, we are going to get a single cube of meat. This is like the worst value proposition. To fight death and get only a single cube, cube of meat out of the whole ordeal is a, a pretty terrible, like, uh, offer. Because basically, I mean, it's going to be fine because we have Guardian Angel along with it. Uh, which means it's going to be a little bit better, I suppose. Uh, but... Q, single cube of meat, that is. Uh, but still, you know, there, there's a number of other items I would rather have as opposed to simply... Uh, oh my god, and I, somehow I hit him into me, which doesn't make any damn sense. But anyway, there's a single cube of meat, a little bit of added defense. And I, I think it would be foolish not to take Guppy's Paw and give ourselves 15 extra spirit hearts here. Which should be enough uh, to carry us through at least until we get to the cathedral. I would love to pick up an Emperor card or something like that, but... Uh, Again, that's not always in the cards for us, if I'm, you know, able to be z literally 0% clever with my commentary here. So, I'm gonna candle this dude. Actually, it's not even necessary. Candle this dude, 
It sounds vaguely sexual, but also vaguely like something a, a, a bro-type doctor might say, like an ear, nose, and throat doctor. I don't even know if doctors do ear candling. Ear candling is one of those things that I thought was like a... If, if you don't know it, it's when they like warm up a candle. Uh, and I believe they, they put the flame like next to your ear, and it's to melt your earwax so that it just kind of pours out. Which is gross, but also really useful, I guess, if you are, you know, someone who suffers from constant shitty earwax, which uh, I may or may not be. Uh, but what I will say is that I always thought that it was like a legitimate pharmaceutical or, you know, medical thing. Uh, but then I heard that it's like pseudoscience or something like that. I don't know, man. I've never had it done. Balls of Steel feels super useful here. But I feel like it would be useful for me. <coughs> Since I can't hear anything, I'm like an old man. I think it's because I listened to so much music when I was a kid. Uh, really, like, up close and personal. Anyway, this is not Northern Lion's Earwax Hour. What can I say? I, I, I'm the only Let's Player that'll tell you about his own earwax. That's probably not true, either. Uh, but anyway, let's just murder Monstro. This is gonna be an easy fight. Murder Monstro, doesn't that sound like an 80s, like, uh, shitty Arnold Schwarzenegger film? Like, it wouldn't- it would be 80s Dolph Lundgren, like, post-Rocky 4, after, uh, things kinda hit the slide for him. By the way, ultimate respect for Dolph Lundgren, man. That dude has, like, a master's in chemical engineering or something like that. Uh, so... Not only could he beat me up and is he richer than me and more handsome, but he's also smarter than me. Which is normally, you know, the point of pride that you, you, when the guy's the quarterback of the football team, you're like, yeah, well, at least I didn't get 40 in Calc 1. Fucking Dolph Lundgren got 100 in Calc 1, started teaching the class, and then reinvented the wheel. Dolph Lundgren, friend of the channel. I wish. Anyway, we're gonna make our way towards Isaac here. This is not where Isaac is. That's unfortunate. So it's probably like an up and down hook. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of basketball strategy. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be up by this mini boss and then down, and it probably like the room adjacent to the boss room intersects with the curse room. We we have benefits here, especially the fact that I keep getting a ton of spirit hearts. I think we might be able to make this happen. If so, I owe Dado Poland a an enormous debt of gratitude. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves yet. We're not quite there yet, and uh, once we get to the chest, well, I mean, we shouldn't even get ahead of ourselves that much. But once we get to the chest, uh, things can go, you know, vastly differently than they look like they're about to go right now. But that's okay. We're just gonna hang out here, shoot the laser, uh, and then I walk back in and get him to shoot the laser again into me, because I'm a damn fool. Remember, I do have Poison Touch, so this is uh, something I haven't touched on yet. But permanent invincibility from the Polaroid plus Poison Touch is an awesome, awesome uh, series of kind of like synergistic upgrades. Uh, and you've seen me use this many times before. And I hope that it's going to be beneficial for us now, but this means that every time we get hit, we get like a guaranteed, like, 10, 5% damage on Isaac. <coughs> Again, apologies for this, uh, or apologies for this. I'll probably take a second to rehydrate after this room is over. I got a tickle at the back of my throat. Anyway, that is bad damage for me, but again, we'll be able to poison Loki pretty easily, like so. And I'm going to take a sip of this coffee, I'll be back. Faster than you could possibly imagine! Alright, so I probably should have used editing there, because that was like five seconds of dead air. Maybe I will, but let's be honest, I probably will just forget. So why promise something? Why write checks with my mouth that my ass can't cash? As the case might be. So, we're gonna blow these dudes up, should be easy. And uh, now we've got Isaac, this is gonna be an interesting fight, definitely where I'm gonna use the Devil card. So let's pop this off. Uh, and here's where the fun starts, I guess. I should be using the candle effectively. We do have adequate range. This is important. We do have adequate range to be hitting Isaac from afar. Uh, which is necessary if we're going to dodge effectively. We were actually tearing him up from a damage standpoint. Uh, now we come and we just stand next to him and fire as quickly as we can. And oh my god, we took out like one third of his health. Not all of that was due to poison touch, but it was all due to having like invincibility. So we lost three health there, I think. Uh, but we also are three or two. But we also managed to pick up one. Uh, so let's do this. And let's see what we got in the chest here. So we have x-ray goggles. <coughs> Apologies for that. Turns out the tickle in my throat was a little bit more severe than I'd originally anticipated. We have x-ray goggles, Sister Maggie. X-ray vision, as I've already mentioned. Uh, stigmata, which is awesome, but also really shitty. Uh, because it means that uh, I would get a health upgrade, which would cost us. But we'd have the damage upgrade, too. Uh, but that's good. Sister Maggie's an awesome upgrade. Uh... X-ray goggles, less so in all likelihood, but uh, I'm feeling very confident about our chances. I would have loved to have just gotten a straight damage upgrade, as opposed to like the damage plus health that Stigmata is. Uh, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. 
Again, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Things can still go horribly wrong uh, fairly easily here. Uh, but uh, as long as I don't lose more than one health per room, I should have an okay chance against Blue Baby is, is my thinking here. That's my, my quantitative analysis of how this is going to move forward. Uh, the, the Three Widow room is actually one of the best that we could pros possibly get. Three Widows also sounds like a fictional name for like a nuclear power plant, and I like that a lot. It's a shame I'm a terrible writer, otherwise I would love to author a book with Three Widows power plant as the uh, setting. Anyway. Just keep firing away here. Again, anything I say in these videos, feel free to use in any kind of transformative work of your choice. It doesn't bother me, man. Uh, if you want to write a book, you don't need to give me uh, like a liner note or anything like that. Just as long as we both know who the true brains behind the operation is. That's all the satisfaction I need. Uh, that might change if I start being unable to buy groceries for myself, but for now, you have my word. So let's go up and to the right. We still have health off the screen. I I've been quietly thinking... I just wanted to check and see if that was maybe, uh, you know, a good room for us, but, uh, I, I've been quietly thinking that maybe this is the, the run where we managed to break this so-called curse that I've been under for a while. I think it might actually be the case. I'm very, very strong right now. I can't fathom myself being too far away, uh, from the, oh, careful, uh, being too far away from the, uh, boss. I mean, I can obviously see where he is. Wheel of Fortune, not that beneficial for me right now. Uh, but I, I don't think we're, we're on the wrong path right now or anything like that. I'm actually at the point where I almost wish I took the Game Kid. Although I guess it wouldn't help us when we have entire, like, spirit hearts. But um, I almost wish I took the Game Kid because I don't really use Blue Candle that much anymore. Since my actual shots appear to do more damage. Which is remarkable because that's pretty damn rare. Uh, poison Bombs. That's beautiful as well if we manage to use those effectively against the boss. We will get at least uh, one spirit heart by way of this room. Sometimes two by way of the Miter. Uh, but for now, let's keep firing some shots in. No need to get fancy, necessarily. Uh, if I can just manage to keep these guys at bay, that is cool by me. Uh, and only one Spirit Heart, but that's probably all we need. I think we are, we're basically guaranteed victory here. I actually just, like, I got ahead of myself and tried to run into the boss room there. Which would have been hilarious, uh, because it doesn't work that way. I would have just hit the door and then probably taken even more damage than I already have on this room. Which is already an embarrassing amount. But yeah, let's do this! This almost feels like the, the victory parade here. Do we know if these pills are good? Oh, well, Balls of Steel, obviously hugely beneficial. I found pills a little less so, but hey, let's make this happen, man. We are fighting Blue Baby. Uh, I can almost guarantee that I could tank these shots and still survive. Uh, so I'm actually just going to you know, get up in his face and make things uh, fucking hard for him. I can place some bombs around here. It don't matter. Uh, we're going to be good. You know, even if I hit myself, I get this permanent invincibility, so it doesn't really matter. Man, it feels good to be kind of a fake gangster because we did win on a challenge run, not a vanilla run. But still, man, this feels good. It's been a while since we've had a run like this. As always, thank you in particular to Dado Poland for that challenge run suggestion. That uh, helped me get out of a slump. Hopefully, I'll be able to take that renewed confidence and make something good happen. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Continue suggesting your own challenge runs, and I will do the ones that are most entertaining or appropriate. P.S. Thanks for watching. See you next time.